Hi everyone, welcome to Classroom Kitchen. I'm Mr D, back on the uh, video today doing a new recipe for you, a little stir fry. Okay, this really tasty one. I really want to know who's making tea tonight because you guys could be doing it. This is a really easy one. You can raid the fridges, you can raid the cupboards. Any sort of veggies you've got to throw in there, get them in. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to chop some different things up today. I'm going to show you what happens in the pan and a few different things. I've changed the video today so you can't really see my face, you can actually see what's going on on the chopping board instead. So that's really important, okay, so you get a bit more of a close-up, you can see what's going on in the pan. We've just changed it, mixed things up a little bit, just like we're stirring things up today with our stir fry. So let's get started straight away. So we've got a few different things that we're going to put in today. We have got some peppers, now these nice chilli peppers too. We've got a chilli pepper there if you like spice. We've got a salad pepper there if you just like it to... If you don't like the spice, you don't need the spice. Don't put the spice in, okay? So, we've got some sweet corn, some baby sweet corn as you can see. Some broccoli, already chopped up that one. A few mushrooms. I'll tell you about that one in a moment. And then we've got a few different herbs, spices, things like that, okay? Pan's already on the go, that's getting nice and warm. So all we're going to do, pour a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of olive oil. Get that in your pan, so it gets nice and hot. You want your stir fry pan to get really hot. Now, one thing that you need to be getting doing at the same time is get some noodles on the cook. I've already cooked mine and just put them to the side so they're ready to go straight in in a second. If you want any meat today, any fish, any veggies, uh, different veggies, throw them in too. It really doesn't matter what you're putting in. This is a really easy one. It's meant to clear out the fridge. It's good for the end of the week. It's good for the midweek. Whatever you've got left to use up, put it in. It all tastes good. Doesn't really matter. So let's start off with some sweet corn. We're going to use our claw method. If you've not seen our claw method before, have a look back to an earlier episode. But we've got claws like this. All we need to do, claws down on top. Slice those up like that. Really easy. So claws are keeping my fingertips away from the sweet corn. I can do a couple of these at a time. Make sure we give everything a wash before we put it in, before we're using it today. So all our veggies have already been washed here. So we've got those. I'm gonna put the sweet corn, I'm gonna put the broccoli, I'm gonna get them straight in the pan, okay? Why do you think those go in there first? Why is it important that we get those into the pan first, do you reckon? Well, the thing is, they are hard vegetables. So, when a vegetable is a hard vegetable, it needs a little bit more time to soften up, okay? So, next thing that we'll put in, we'll put in some pepper, because again, the pepper's got quite hard skin on it. It's going to take a little bit of time to soften up, okay? So, we'll put that one in now. We get that chopped up really easy. My apron's just come off this, so I'm going to tie that again. Aprons, pinnies, things to cover us up, they're really important. We must uh, be wearing something that protected ourselves, keeping ourselves away from the heat. Remember mums and dads are going to be putting the cooking this out in the pan for you today. You need to let them do the hop. It's a little bit dangerous, especially that hot oil in there. So we're going to chop this up. As you can see, I'm turning it, I'm going to take the lid off the pepper off, give it a little twist, there's the seeds on the inside. I'm going to take them out, I'm going to slice this pepper up. And all I'm going to do, use my claw method, nice strips of pepper, really tasty. Throw those into the pan as well. I love that sizzle, absolutely love it. It's the, all about the sizzle, it's all about the, the spice we're going to throw in in a minute. But the flavours, the smells are amazing, so get those in too. You can put lots of different veggies in at home. Your stir fries that you might see in the shops. Look at that, look at those colours. Lots of colours, that's what we really want to see in our cooking. Get lots of colours in there, get lots of flavours. With the broccoli, the broccoli's going to take a little bit longer to cook down. I've made that quite big. If you want the broccoli, if you don't like your broccoli too big in pieces, cut it down a bit more, it'll soften up a lot quicker. 
okay? So next things we've got on the menu, we've got some mushrooms, we've got some spice. I'm gonna get the spice in because I'm gonna let that start to cook through. If you don't want to use spice, don't use it. It's an absolutely to preference. I like my food quite spicy. People at home might not like spice. Don't give them a nasty surprise by throwing in loads of spicy things if they don't like it. Don't serve it to them for the tea with loads of spice in it. The peppers, if you like chilies and things, you could add these later on. So when we're cooking for people at home, what's really good and what's really important is we cook to preference. So if someone really doesn't like spice, you could cook this as it is now, mix it with some noodles, add in some chicken, whatever you want, and then leave it in the, take out what you want for someone else, leave it in the pan and stir through some chilies, to stir through some spices that other people like. So you can cook for everyone in one pan, in one dish. No one needs to be fussy about it. So we're gonna scoop that in there. Which method did I use then for cutting those up? Did you notice, were you paying attention? If you did keep your eye on it, you will have noticed I used the core method. So I'm gonna put a little bit of extra oil in there. Now, get some mushrooms in there too. With the mushrooms, I'm gonna use a bridge. So a bridge like that, knife goes underneath the bridge. As you can see like that, I'm gonna quarter those up. Mushrooms do not take that long to cut, so they can go in as our last ingredient. Along with our special pink one here. Sorry. Can you work out what that one is? Because actually it's something that you probably were not expecting to put in. So mushrooms are done, they're all quartered up. I've got some ginger here, I'm gonna throw the ginger in, because that's good for flavor. I've also got some um, chili powder, I do like the spice. If you like the spice, put it in. Depending on what you are, give that a mix. <coughs> See, that has already got the spice into the flavour. That caught me on the back of the on the back of the throat already. That is just how I like it. If you don't like it at home, don't put that sort of spice in. You want to keep it quite mild, you want to keep it quite cool. That's going to be too spicy for a lot of people. Chilli powder comes in lots of different ones. You can get mild ones, you can get medium ones. If you don't like chilli, put in some paprika. It's a nice smoky taste, a nice smoky flavour. It's about experimenting. A little bit of pepper in there. A little bit of salt as well. Small amount. You don't want to put too much salt in. Salt's not really good, but it's good for the flavours. So we're going to put in some mushrooms. Give those a mix up. Look at that, lots of flavour coming through, keeping it mixing. One tasty circle, yeah. Right, this one in the corner, did you work out what it was? It's actually, it's actually watermelon. Now, different things we can add this in, this is gonna give it a shock of sweetness. So that spice, that sweetness, we're gonna have a real battle between the two, but actually the flavour will come together really nicely. It's important to just experiment with some flavours. It's not about doing the same thing every single time. So when mums and dads are telling you to try something new, try it, because actually you might like it. You might not like it, but if you've tried it, you'll know. Okay, so we can throw the watermelon in. That's not gonna to take too long. Mix all that through. And listen to that. Watermelon's got the nice water in it and the liquid and it's gonna cool, it's gonna soak. You can see those steaming away already in there. You can see the steam coming off the watermelon. Give that a mix through. Get those nice chunks of watermelon in there. It's gonna bring some real life to it. I'm gonna bring up mangoes really nice to put in if you like something sweet. I'm not making a sauce to go with it. You can make a sauce at home. You can get sauces if you buy them from the supermarket. This is gonna provide enough sauce and enough flavor in there anyway. And we've got one more thing to throw in there, it's the noodles. The last thing you get in, get your noodles in, throw them in, mix them up, get the flavour soaking into them and give them about a minute in there. 
Okay, 30 seconds to a minute should do it. Four minutes they take to cook prior to this. So get them in, get them in the pan, get this chopped up. You could have put some onion in today, you could have put lots of different ingredients. Lots to do. So I'm gonna grab those noodles, put the noodles in. Gonna give those a give them one frame like this. Takes a good stir, give it a good mix. Lots of nice flavours coming from the pan. Now, if you're liking what you're seeing today, we've got lots of other videos on our YouTube page. We've got lots of other videos on our Facebook page. So subscribe to our channel or find us on Facebook at Classroom Kitchen. All the recipes are on there. So you probably found us on there today if, you, if you're looking at this video. Our recipe for our stir fries on there. It talks about other alternatives you can put in meats, fish, lots of different things that you can add into it. And we are just got to give it a nice mix up. This stage, when it gets to this stage, get the heat off it. You don't need the heat on anymore. That's it. Give it a good mix through. Because what you want to do is you want to get as much of the, the mixture mixed through the noodles too. So have a go at this at home. If you like a stir fry, stir fries are delicious. If you want to put meat in it, you can do, but again, this is a vegetarian. The watermelon is something a little bit different. It's tasty. It's a nice treat. We'll turn that heat off now. Here we are. A little showcase of what we've got. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a final photo on Facebook for you. So if you get over there and have a little look at that one. If you do have a go today, then take photos. Send them into our Facebook page. We've had loads of people so far having a go at this. It's really good. On Friday, we're going to give away a prize. And last week, we gave away a really nice recipe book um, that's got loads of gross different recipes in there, something a little bit different. Have a go. We'll put you in the prize draw, and hopefully, we can send you a little prize to get you through the next few weeks being stuck at home. So, enjoy. Subscribe to our videos. Get on Facebook, give us a share, give us a like, and carry on. This is Classroom Kitchen, this is Mr D. Thank you very much for today's show. We'll see you again tomorrow.